Good morning. Welcome to Madison Avenue Christian Church live stream worship. It is bittersweet that most of you are joining us from home this week, but as you know, we are continuing to keep the health and safety of our congregation in mind, and we hope to be all back together next Sunday. Please make sure that you are reading the emails that come from us as they contain important information about our worship service as well as happenings in the life of the church. If you would like to be added to our mailing list, you can contact me in the office. Special music this morning will be provided by Dan and Paige Weeks, and we thank them for sharing their musical gifts with us this morning. Pam Banker will be presiding as elder during communion, and I hope you have your elements ready for that part of our service. We will still be having our Christmas community meal, but this year it will look different. We will be putting together gift bags to pass out to the children on behalf of Santa. So if you are interested, please consider making a donation towards the purchase of those gifts, and you can contact me with any questions. For the next two Sundays in Advent, we will be having some special guest musicians join us for worship. Next Sunday, December 13th, our resident string quartet will be here, and Christmas Sunday, December 20th, guest trumpeter Jeff Christopher Jeffrey will be here. And we certainly hope that you will spread the word with your friends and family about those worship services. Our Christmas Eve service will be pre-recorded this year, and the video will be made available to you on Christmas Eve so you can watch it with your families. More details are to come on how that worship service will work. Tonight is Zoom discussion night at 5 p.m. The link to join the session was sent out yesterday via email. If you did not receive the link and you are interested in participating, please let me know as soon as possible. Our worship service this morning is slightly out of order so that we can all enjoy the beautiful Christmas music that is to come. So we will enter into worship this morning with our scripture. It comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Today is Peace Sunday, and today we light the Advent candle for peace in our troubled world. Christ 
Just leave your contemplations, brighter visions beam afar. Seek the great desire of nations, you have seen the natal star. Verse 3, sages, you wise, learned men and women, you folks who think you know it all, leave your contemplations, your think tanks, your boardrooms, your family dinners where you express varying opinions. Know to yourselves that your answers and your thoughts might not be the brighter visions that beam afar. Come together and seek the great desire of the nations, the great desire that all of us are created in God's image, that we come to live in a world of peace as God's children. As we look to the skies, looking for Bethlehem's star this season, May we see the clear light of God's love in his natal star. Come and worship. Let us pray. Holy God, we come to your service this morning, bringing to it open hearts, Lord. Open hearts that we have no other time of the year than during this Advent and Christmas season. Father, we ask that you come into this place, into this special place in our hearts at this time. Open them up. Let them be tender to hear your gospel once again. Father, that we might feel anew the beginning of the Christmas story, the beginning of Christ's story in our own lives, how we may come from nothing that we may come from nothing and bring peace to our neighbors, that we may come from nothing in our relationship with you and grow and share in that relationship with others. Lord, this day, on this Sunday of peace, as we light the Advent candle, Father, we pray that the peace of our hearts and the peace that you give us that passes all understanding will stir us to make us feel a special blessing this year that we might share with others. That as we come as your saints and been before your altar, whether here in our church or with our families at home, that we would be able to praise you and feel your love and your hope and your light this Christmas season. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Our Father in heaven hallowed be thy name thy 
kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever.
appeared to Mary, telling of the coming birth. She alone by God was chosen, bringing begotten ere the world began to be Christ is Alpha and Omega He the source the ending He of the things that are that have been and that future year shall see evermore and evermore all ye heights of heaven sing praises angels and archangels sing Anthems ring. Every tongue Christ's name confessing, countless voices answering, evermore and evermore. Christ to thee. God Creator, and the Holy Ghost to Thee, Him and chant and high thanksgiving, and unwearied praises be.
to find a lodging in the town. But mark how all things came to pass from every door repelled, alas. As long foretold, their refuge all was but a humble oxen stall. Near Bethlehem did shepherds keep their flocks of lambs and feeding sheep, to whom God's angels did appear, which put the shepherds in great fear. Three pair of gold. Just said to Bethlehem, be not afraid, for there you'll find this happy morn, a princely babe, sweet Jesus born. joyous mind the shepherds went the babe to find and as God's angel hath foretold they did our Savior Christ behold within a manger he was laid and by Side the virgin maid attending on the Lord of life who came to earth to end all strife. Good people. said was virgin born in a tiny shed where simple shepherds stood hard by while heavenly sound filled up the sky God 
God's gift, His Son, in humility. We 
shall know him when he comes, and his coming known shall be by the holy harmony. Which his coming makes in thee We shall know him when he Page and Jihan. 
in the midst of all the turmoils of life and the turmoils that we face in our world, you gave us a moment to dwell in the presence of peace, hope, joy, and love. And we thank you for that gift. Thank you. That was a splendid interpretation of that scripture. I was listening to, wow. <clears throat> that closing line, and that is the meditative zone I would like to create for you. And I hope that this time at the table, your experience and the angel's experience would be different. That last line, it's a startling line. It says, and the angel departed. When I read that line, I went, oh, oh no, don't leave, stay, stay. There are two ways that the angel departed can become. One is the angel departs disappointed, frustrated, and when that kind of departure happens, get this, God is distant and weak in our lives and in the world. When the angel departs without the purpose of the visitation not being fulfilled, that is when we feel isolated, alone. But in this story, the angel departs and something happens where the angel departs rejoicing and glorifying and God dwells and the dwelling of God is always there. And that is what I'm hoping will happen to us today. Every time there is a divine initiation of a conversation, it is like this, just like it happened to Mary. And it could happen in your life today, at this moment, at this communion, if we become aware of how divine initiation happens. The angel comes to Mary and says, <clears throat> Blessed are you, O favored one, you will find God's favor. That is always the divine hope. That is always how God intends to come to us and come in our lives. That is the opening line of God. Blessed are you, O favored one. God's favor will rest upon you. God is about to do a big thing in your life. Mary goes through some emotions. And I am sure you and I may go through that emotion if we are aware of God's initiation. That is, how is it possible? Can be me? Can be us? Can be Madison Avenue Christian Church? We have too much to do already. The angel does not give up, keeps building on that. Oh, the Holy Spirit will be upon you. God's miraculous power would abide in you. God will make this thing happen and he would be called Jesus. Through him, everything would change. The course of history would change. And the angel is just pausing there going, Come on, come on. 
that's always so. My prayer is when we get to this table and when we engage in a conversation with God, that angel is standing there and going, come on, come on. What is that beckoning? What is that asking? That asking is what Mary did. She pondered, she was perplexed, but then she said, let it be according to your will. For with you all things are possible, O God. I, your servant, I am available. That is what makes the angel depart with God's purpose fulfilled in you and through you. I hope this communion would not be a time when the angel departs throwing hands up in the air and saying, Ha oh boy. Same story. You're not even aware of God who's beckoning you. You're not even aware of the kind of divine blessings that is about to be showered upon you. You're not even aware that God is going to change this moment for you. But much depends on your response. And Mary said, let it be according to your will. I, your servant, I am available. Would that be your response at this table? Would that allow the angel to depart with joy? The gifts of God for the people of God. Amen. the Savior did come for to die for poor ordinary people like you and like I I wonder as I wander out under the sky
wander as I wander out under the sky. All are welcome at Christ's table. Let us enter this time of communion with God as one in unity and love. Love God and love your neighbor who may be vastly different from you. Let us pray for this communion service. Gracious God, we come to you this second Sunday of Advent, praying for peace on earth, peace between nations of the world, peace between diverse people and neighbors in our own country, as well as peace in our everyday lives. Help us, Lord, to cope with the overwhelmingly drastic changes to the existence that we had considered our normal and grant us the tranquility that can be found nowhere else but through Christ's invitation to know you better. With your guidance, we can find that place where we can shed our anxieties and be a light to others. We thank you, God, for your Son, Jesus Christ, and for this communion table as a as a table of remembrance. Bless these emblems, the bread and cup, that they may nourish our spirits. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. The words of institution come from Luke 22, chap chapter 22, verses 14 through 20. When the hour came, he took his place at the table and the apostles with him. He said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took the cup and after giving thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves, for I tell you that from now on I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he did the same with the cup after supper, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. Let us drink the cup together. Let 
Jesus said, my peace I give you, not the kind of peace that this world gives, but the peace that passeth all understanding. May the gift of peace be yours today and always. Amen.